Yo everybody, welcome back to the channel. I feel like I say that too often, so maybe we will twist it up a bit. And welcome back to Pokemon Showdown All-Stars Generation 4. This is Gardenia time. Yeah, oh, <laughs> okay. So anyway, before we begin, I have two words to say. Actually, maybe not two words, don't quote me on that like you always do. But there is a thing that uh, my semester and my university is coming to a close soon. Then I'm going home for Christmas and then I have exam period so all of my scheduled updates are gonna be definitely moved so everything you think you know about the schedule like Tuesday, first day, Friday, Sunday well <laughs> to be honest that will be very hard I will try to upload four uh, videos a week like I always do but it might be hard, and if you don't see a video for a long time, then don't be like, Hey, hey what, what, what up, boy? What up? And I don't want the quality of my videos to be hurt, you know? Just being like, yeah, let's make a video where I take a shit, and you watch me take a shit, and then my shit chooses Pokemon. Um, that was a very bad example, I apologize for it, but you know what I mean. So yeah, keep that in mind, but without any further ado, today we have Gardenia and I have some replays and they are not only from my staff from Discord, so yeah, we got a few replays from other people, but yet we begin with Dr. Yo, my man, let's see. Now here is a classic or actually an amazing example of what not to do when you're a noob. And obviously I'm not calling out the guy for being a noob, like you need to laugh at him, because obviously that's not the case. Everyone can be a noob. But this is a perfect example what happens if you sleep on a Breloom. And basically, the Breloom puts everything to sleep and then proceeds to kill it. And because this is... Okay, so this guy, for example, goes for Clinging Scales. Oh, wow, massive damage, right? Well, he goes to sleep now, and he is asleep, and he gets a huge drain punch to the face, and then he is asleep for one more turn, and he gets another huge drain punch, and Brailum is back at half while he's dead. Now, Chestnut cannot be put to sleep, but this Chestnut, for some reason, doesn't go for any other move than Earthquake, which doesn't do much. So we can skip that, because that's exactly what's gonna keep happening. Now Embor comes in, but he's slower, so, you know, go back to sleep, or go to sleep, actually. Takes a chunk, and then actually another Stone Edge is able to kill it. Or actually not, but he wakes up and goes for Head Smash, for whatever reason, and dies. Now we have Swampert, which is, like, beautiful, because he becomes a Mega Swampert. Goes to sleep. Which is awesome, and gets Drain Punched, which is great because we get some health back, and then, you know... Okay, he wakes up again, goes for Hydra Pump, doesn't do really too much. Why don't you Ice Punch? That's my question. Where's then Ice Punch? Okay, he misses, and then Hariyama. Basically, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. So, Breloom just destroyed the steam. It was played pretty poorly on his side, or, or, or the opponent's side, but yeah. Never sleep on the Bray Loop. Here we have another one. Where we have Trapius. And, okay, I'm just gonna show you something amazing. This guy goes for Agility and you're like, Oh shit, this Metagross is gonna be super fast, outspeed everything. He goes for another Agility knowing he can. Which is like, ooh, wow. And then he goes another Agility, which is like, Jesus Christ, now you're super fast, you're like a jet. And then, he goes for a Gyro Ball. So yeah, so let's check this one out, and I, I'm sorry if you hear a washing machine in the background, but you know, I, I gotta do my laundry from time to time. But anyway, here's the chicken, the hobo, and he goes, mm, poor choice of moves, you know, that's not a very bad... Yeah, yeah okay, okay, yeah, it wakes up, goes for Brave Bird. We take a lot of damage, we take a lot of damage because we're quad weak to that, but you know, Stone Edge actually hits this time. We have A3, which is an Executor, kills us with an Energy Ball. Very good move to use against our team, I guess. And there comes Leafeon. He misses the Hypnosis, which is great for us because that kills... Yeah, Excessor. <laughs> beautiful. Aegislash, the most beautiful Pokemon of all. Goes for an Iron Head, which deals a lot of damage, actually. And yeah, goodbye. That's a that's a bye-bye. Here is a tank, the Blissim, which takes a shit ton of damage from that, and goes for a Hyper Beam, which is like new meta. I mean, <laughs> choice specs, maybe? I don't know. Dragon Killer, the Mega Gardevoir, which just kills the Terra. We don't really care, we got Tropius. 
He goes for an ice punch. Alright, I guess. And we go for that. We go for a nasty solar beam. That's 46. Percent. Goodbye, Tropias. Here comes Roserade, who will just go for a Sludge Bomb, and that's it. And then we have a little bit of Slow King, which will get Tan Growth to death, because Psychic does a shit ton, actually. We get our Salak Berry. How often do you see a Salak Berry uh, Tan Growth? Does a lot. Okay, right. And then we go into a Leafeon and we destroy the Slow King, Joker King, for some reason. This one is also pretty nice because we have an Arceus, which misses a Toxic, which is kind of unfortunate, I must admit. But then you know what? What can be an Arceus? So um, Rain Punch does a lot of damage. He stays in for some reason, so that's a dead Arceus. Goodbye, Arceus. Out comes a Solgaleo. Goes for a Z move, which is Z splash, but you know, you don't do that versus a Breloom because you're going to sleep. And then we go, yeah, 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 Drain Punch does a lot of damage. And he just says, you're honestly such a f bad word. So, um, yeah, great. And then he uh, forfeits because he just lost to Breloom. Breloom, Breloom, Breloom. Well, you know, do you know this team? Do you recognize this team by any chance? I'm not sure if I do, but it sure does look like it, right? I mean, there's a Diglett, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Butterfree, Seal, and Arceus. The thing is that the team is not exactly that good when you're like playing it normally, but <laughs> here's a here's a kill from Butterfree. Well, you should just have gone, yeah, exactly, should, you should have gone for a, a Quiver Dance. If you did go for a Quiver Dance, then Bug Buzz honestly would have killed everything, I guess. At this point, at least with the Stealth Rock, that would have been dead everything. And Air Slash would have killed a Bre Breloom, I don't know. Well, anyway, so here's the Trouble Berry Arceus, and the Arceus goes for a Sword Stance, now it goes from Extreme Speed, and we live. Wait, oh yeah, 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 I should have the Sash, I forgot. Uh, but now it's a dead Breloom. And the, yeah, the effect spore leaves the Arceus poison, so, um, not good. And now it's the Bulbasaur's turn, which takes a bunch from that, but lays down a nasty toxic. And I believe, okay, yeah, and the guy says, I never thought this team is good. And as you can see, it is it's pretty decent, like, you know, my mom knows what to do. But why do you leave see the Tangrove? First you sleep powder the Leafeon, I think. Then you... That's not that's not really correct. Okay, now, now Air Slash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, my laundry is done. That's fucking you know, perfect. Perfect timing. We're gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we need to kind of speed this up because of that. But basically, yeah. Here's a Nuzzle, and that's kind of... That's, yeah, okay, hold well, switches into seal, which just dies to a pedal dance, and then Pikachu also dies to a pedal dance. Yeah! And then we have this one, where we have a Groudon, which is the most beautiful Pokemon in the world. Goes for a hidden power, by, no, ice, I suppose, and gets a nasty earthquake to the face. Well, that didn't really work out for Toterra, but, you know, what can we do? That's a fucking Groudon. Goodbye, Groudon, though. So now we have a Mars Shadow. No, not really, it's Ted Bundy. And I guess Ted Bundy because of this? Yeah. It's, it's a pretty fitting name, really, but I still prefer to call it False God or just Balance. I, I, I called you Balance. Alright, so here we go for an Extreme Speed, which is. <laughs> This is so weak. Even non-stab, unboosted, no, 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 nothing. Just extreme speed that are like a million attack, basically. So here's a spore. Here is a stone edge, and here is another stone edge, and another kill for ye old Breloom. But now Breloom has to die to a shadow sneak. But effect spore said, na 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 na. Ah, uh, no, no, you're not, you're not gonna do it. And then, beautiful, because that's exactly what we needed. Marsh Shadow stays asleep for two turns. Yet, it gets Shadow Ball to the face. I mean, sleep was always weird to me, because think about it. You're asleep, then you get hit very hard, like you lose a lot of health. But you're like, hmm, whatever, I'm just gonna continue sleeping. And then you get hit again, like you're almost dead, and you're like, hmm, 
Whatever, I'm just gonna concede. That was nothing. And then you get hit and fainted because of it. It's like, oh shit. I guess I should have wo woken up. Okay, Mao Zedong kills uh, our Tangro. He's a leafy on though. Goes for a sword stance. Uh, gets the Yachi Berry, so lifts the Ice Beam. One shots uh, the freaking Kyogre. And then comes. Yeah, this guy, I think, I don't know what nationality that is, like Croatian or Czech or something. But yeah, so that's it. Cool, now I'm gonna take out my laundry <laughs> and then I'll see you back. And so we are back and let's battle our battle. Yeah. So here's the primal Groudon, uh, obviously. <laughs> primal Groudon, who would have guessed? And oh, it's a slow primal Groudon. Which is beautiful because now we go for a terrain punch. Nothing really wants to take it, or like nothing really wants to take me on. I'll actually go Tropius. There's a reason for me going Tropius, but I'm not gonna reveal it to you. It's because... <laughs> what? Did you just seriously go dick? Oh my god. Okay, let's air slash. This guy just went for a dig. Solar beam shouldn't know, but eruption. Sh yeah, it doesn't kill us actually. Good job, Tropius. Oh, that was my uh, pineapple. Sorry about that because I'm eating some nice pineapple. Goodbye, Primal Groudon. So now we have Gardevoir, and I'm just gonna sunny day in case he decides not to kill me. Maybe he just would go for a uh, fly. Oh, we're faster. Calm mind. That's awesome. That does 30. Yeah, okay, cool. No, let's go. Let's go Tangrove. Let's go Tangrove. Oh, we could go Sludge Bomb, actually. We actually yeah, yeah, let's go Sludge Bomb. Uh, that doesn't do too much. Wow, we got one shotted by that? Really? That's weird. What are you gonna do, huh? Yeah, go, go down. Not even Mega. Oh, yeah, obviously Mega Mewtwo. <laughs> uh huh. Dialga. Nah, we just go Torterra. Overheat. Overheat Dialga. Mm, nothing is asleep, so we can just put something to sleep. Hopefully it's gonna be... Yeah, okay, it's the Dialga. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Which is nice. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's nice or not, but... Okay, that's a dead Dialga. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for coming. I don't thing <laughs> there's a Mewtwo and I believe this is Mewtwo Y which is why I'm not even gonna but I'm not even gonna start uh, with the spore oh it is Mewtwo X hello Mewtwo X how about a leaf blade to the face Psy strike oh well that's special hey critical hit we can get chip damage with quick attack now and then maybe just maybe we can kill you with Rose Ray. Okay, you get just maybe. That's again just maybe. I mean, Pedal Dance hits the strongest, I guess. And uh, yeah, cool. Goodbye, Mewtwo. This is gonna be clutch. Because, yeah, I, we we cannot even switch. Bam, twenty nice. Twenty nice? Did I did I just say twenty nice? <laughs> I'm in twenty nine. Bam. Wow, critical hit. Yeah, this could be the game. Drago Meteor kills us. Okay, and now the question is, do we kill with Mach Punch? Yes. So, as long as the Cloister doesn't go for Icicle Spear. Yes! Woof! That should mean we win. That's a 50. He woke up, and he goes for Shell Smash. Uh-huh. Yeah, GG. I guess. What? Why don't you have Icicle Spear? Do you have Ice Shard? No, he doesn't! <laughs> Coming in very clutch! Look at that last Pokemon, 1 HP, wow! Why Icicle Crash Cloister? Okay, I don't know, anyway, thank you guys for watching, this is a very long video anyway, so uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time, bye bye!